Hi, today I'm going to do a quick demonstration of an animal's eye using uh, Conti crayons. Uh, as you can see here, I've just uh, sketched it out lightly already, uh, just using a cream pastel. And uh, I'm going to show you the basic techniques that I use to tr create a simple but effective eye. I've got the pastels here. Using the pastels upright, I'm going to start with the eye. I always start with the eye and I work outwards from the eye because I think the eye is the main feature of an animal, the, the, the life of the animal really. So I'm using the, a pale yellow pastel here just to put a base coat down on this eye. So I'm going to press on. Now I do find when I go to art groups, a lot of people don't like pastels. I think they're scared of the, you know, the soft pastels, are they're scared of making um, a mess really, with, you know, with the dust and the smudging. But here, I'm going to use the Conti crayons, which are a hard pastel. You can hear how hard they are on there. And I'm using them in conjunction with the pastel matte paper. And that way, you don't get as much dust and as, as much smudging, which I'll show you in a second. Can you see the dust on there now? I'm going to use my fingers just to press that into the paper there, like that, just to rub it down. This is how I tend to work. I tend to put a base coat down first and blend it in quite well, and there's very little dust there. And just to show you with the pastel matte paper how little that will smudge. There's a little bit, but it's nothing like you would expect from normal pastels and pastel paper. So I've put a base coat down there that suits the, the tiger's eye that I'm doing today. And I'm now going to tickle on other colours just to layer up varying shades. So I've got a pale green here. I'm just tickling on. And rather than the solid rub I've just done before, I'm just going to soften that. I'm just stroking it. So you're not blending the pastel in solidly. You're just softening it. And you're not losing all the texture on there either. If I rubbed it in totally, it would just it would be flat. I'm going to gradually get darker. So I've got a darker green here. I can see the eye is quite shaded up into this edge here. And if I tickle, I'm just barely touching that paper. And again, I'm just dabbing, really. Just make it, pushing that pastel to stick into the paper. There's a slightly darker ring here and a darker ring just in this top corner. Again, I'm just touching that. And one thing I do use an awful lot of is just have a tissue just to wipe that dust off your fingers. And that way, uh, you do, you're not smudging dark colours into light areas when you don't want that. I'm going to put a bit more, a bit of light through here. Now, I'm starting to work following shape and direction. So the eyes, it's like human eyes really, you have like lines all pointing towards the, um, the pupil there. So I'm using the white that way, so that any lines that show are helping with the... Uh, the shape and direction on the eye help create a proper eye. I'm just going to warm it up a little bit with a few bits of more mustard, gold and yellow, just tickling on. I'm barely touching that. And every time I've touched the pastel, I'm just going to wipe the dust off with my fingers. Right, I can't really do too much without I get some of the outer edges around this eye. In the Conti crayons, I find the black is very hard. So what I do first, before I, before I ever use black, is I always put another colour down first. So in this case, I'm going to use a brown base on there. If I just come round there, it just helps. It means that you don't have to use quite as much black, and it helps to spread that little bit easier. And when I get into these big areas round here, I can lay the pastel down and apply it much quicker that way. Put some brown down. I don't need to blend it. So I'm going to put some black around it first. If I blend the brown, then I apply the black and I blend the black, you've done twice the work. If you put two colours down together and blend them, it's only one half the job, really, isn't it? So I say I like quick results. So I put that down there, and then just using my little finger and pressing on, I'm going to just come round there like that, and it smudges it in. Just going to wipe my finger. Blends it all nicely together. Like that. 
So now what I can put in there is the pupil. I, I can see instantly, actually, that the, uh, the dark green isn't dark enough in places. This, the black ridge here, this should be slightly darker. If I barely touch that paper, I can just tickle a bit of black on there, and all I'm doing is darkening that green. I'm going to put his pupil in, just so we can see where we are with this. Put his pupil in, and then I'm going to tickle some shade just around the top edges there and a little bit in here and again i'm just touching that to dab it to soften it in and then what we need is about the only time i use soft pastels is this to get the white in the eye so i've got a soft pastel here and i'm just going to just reach around and just see press and just put that on there oops it's a dust excuse me just take that off with soft pastels is they do um, break a little bit easier there we go so take the soft pastel off and that just helps to bring the eye to life so with the pot with the conti if i use the side of the pastel now around here i need to go get some white around the edges and put a bit of the tan color in just so we can see where we're going Lift the white round the edges and I can just blend those in together that way. Because I can't do finish the eye off until I've got all of this in. I need to use the black. The top of his eye here is too smooth. We've got hairs like eyelashes uh, coming into there. So what I'm going to do is a little bit of black into white and white back into the black. So if I use the black here, and I'm using the point and the little flicks, just going upwards into the white that way. If I barely touch, I get nice pale lines. I'm just going to feather all the edge of this bit here, the same sort of way. See that there? And all of this, following the shape and direction. So if they're short hairs, you do short lines. If they're long hairs, I do long lines. So like that, following that, I can put his marking in here. Just See, I'm turning the pastel as the hairs turn, so that if I do that, a flick like that, he's starting to get the feel of the fur going round. Okay, around there like that. And then here, I'll do some white back into the top, into the fur that way. We just need a little bit of highlight through here, like in his tear duct, just to help finish it off. I'm just going to darken that pupil a bit more. So here I've got uh, an eye that's simple, effective eye. Um, if I was working into it a little bit more, more detail, I would end up with a finished picture. Mm -hmm.